King Jim is not a new company. In fact, they were founded in 1927, selling address books and signature sheets. However, it wasn't until recently they started making the products we all know and like, like the Pomera. In 2008, the first Pomera keyboard came out, and since then there have been tons of iterations of this unit over the past 14 years. They have LCD versions, LED versions, and e-ink versions as well. The latest one is the cream of the crop, USB-C, full-size keyboard, and it's in English. This is the Pomera DM250 by King Jim. It's sturdy, well-built, and has a 24-hour continuous use battery. Its clamshell design ensures that both the keyboard never gets dirt or grime in it, and the screen itself is protected. It also has an SD card with a maximum capacity of an additional 32 gigs. To be honest, there's not much to this device, and that's a good thing. It's so simple. When you open it up, it instantly turns on, and it actually just gets going right away. Yes, this is a reflective LCD LED screen. It is not an e-paper screen, so you're going to see some reflection. There really is nothing you need to know about this to get started. You open it up. If it doesn't turn on, which it automatically should, you just press the power button. After that, you start typing. Now, I'm not the best typist, but you get the idea. That's all. The same keystrokes actually work as well, so you may not have numpads and extra additional things like a mouse and stuff like that, but you have a cursor all the same, and you can do things like Control all Control c Control v to copy, etc. So you can definitely get the full use of an actual keyboard just with the memorizations of the keys. Now you might be wondering about the keys. This by default is a Japanese keyboard product, however, it is in English, and they do have a USA keyboard layout. The keys themselves have some Japanese writing on them. Because in Japan, there is a mix of both the characters, which are called hiragana, and the characters of the Roman alphabet, which is called romaji. So essentially, there are a mix of both. You can use it normally, and everything is where you think it would be. So for example, that doesn't say at on the shift 2 but if you press it it'll be the at symbol because we're utilizing the USA layout so muscle memory involved is just pretty standard if you've used a keyboard before you should be able to get used to this no problem menu is where we're gonna look at everything if you go to file you have things like new open save save as property close that's very standard that's very Microsoft Word esque over here you have undo cut copy paste redo that's all simple and easy as well and this as well which is the exact same as control F which is find replace go to line template marker character palette it's just as it kind of says if you do template there'll be a template if you do timestamp there'll be a timestamp and you can choose the way it's written date time year with uh, the month in between whatever you'd like going back here word list you have word list and these are words that you can add to your word list it will start off with a bunch of dictionary Japanese words but you can obviously add any word you want sub dictionary this is not going to be very useful because everything's going to be in Japanese and we haven't been able to load in our own yet so dictionary functionality is questionable tools this is really cool you can go to the dictionary there as well or you can scan via QR code and we'll show you a little bit later with the application you have calendar which is nice so if you add something for example on the fifth we have a party so we wrote party on the fifth you can go down to the 19th and say Peter is here simple as that exit out and it automatically saves it it's just so fast you can see right there Peter is here so the calendar works very well style you can change it vertical, which we're not going to do because there's no reason to have this portrait. Absolutely not. The keyboard doesn't swivel, so there's no reason to have it in portrait mode, we feel. You can go to App Connection, we'll show you in a second. And funnily enough, you can actually put this away from you and buy a Bluetooth keyboard and use that keyboard on this unit without having to use this keyboard. So they give you that option that if you have your favorite keyboard, you don't have to be stuck on this. You simply turn on Bluetooth and away you go. You just start using the keyboard. View, you have full screen outline scenario comparison. Partition, partition is kind of silly because as you write on one side, the other side 
just does the exact same thing. It's not even split screen. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but it's not very useful because, well, it just splits the screen in half and duplicates everything. So I'm not really sure of that. You have grid as well. You can do lines, which is very useful, or you can do an actual grid, which is just going to be a grid and every character will fit in every single thing. So that's kind of cool. You have a couple of templates. You have frame as well. If we go to frame right here, you can add a frame of however many characters you'd like. So if you choose 10, there'll be a frame right there of 10 at the top of the page. If you want to get rid of that, you simply just go back to frame, choose zero, and the frame is gone. A couple more things, you have line number. So as you're writing like this, Peter has a keyboard. You'll see that that is four lines, and as you press enter, there'll be more lines on the side. You can get rid of this at any time by just simply toggling off and on the line number. And finally, on the view, you have monochrome inversion, and everything's so quick. You can see that because this doesn't have a heavy operating system like a generic Android or an Apple or something like that, it doesn't really require much processing power to do anything. It's very DOS-y in the way where something happens and it just works. There you go. So you do have a black and white change and everything's very instant. It's not e-ink. Once again, it's not e-paper, so you're not going to have that delay. You have some technical stuff for the technical crowd, and this will be the language that your computer can interpret. So for example, if you had Korean, you would have Hangul hyphen K-O-R. If you have Polish characters, you might have P-O-R, P-O-L dash I-M-E. There's a bunch of stuff that it's just not really that useful to the average person, but if you did want to change that, the character settings and all that, you can do it. You can alter the cursor position, control character as well with tab marks, space marks. There's a lot of really technical things you can do here. And punctuation convert. You can automatically automatically convert the punctuation from this to that and you can add period question mark comma and exclamation point to that as well settings is where you're gonna when you get this it's gonna be in Japanese and it's not very hard to change it into English because all you would do is go like this turn it on go down to the only thing written in English is language and choose English. Once you say yes I want to switch it, you can choose JIS which is the Japanese input settings for the keyboard or a US layout. If you do JIS you can type in English but things are going to be different. For example the at key will no longer be shift 2, it's going to be in a different position. So I would recommend USA layout easiest possible thing to do. You can go over here to file management and scan the device memory and the SD card because it does have an SD card slot which is really cool. You can also go down to format and format both the internal memory and the SD card. You can go to power management, do sleep timers, you can go to key settings as well and it actually has an individual section and setting for USA layout. Out of all the countries and all the layouts in the world this has the option to toggle between a US layout, enable, disable, or not. And there's that Bluetooth keyboard again. So from a menu perspective, that is pretty much every single thing you're going to find in the menu itself. But now we have to talk about the app. In terms of a connection between this and the actual device. This is one of the easiest apps we've ever used. It's called Pamera Link and it's free from the Google Play Store. All you do is go to the app itself like that and then you go to your keyboard. So this is so easy, I'm not even kidding. So as you see here, I wrote Peter has a keyboard. All you would do is go to menu, go to tools, click on QR code, the app automatically starts up with QR code, hold it up to the QR code like that and instantly it has Peter has a keyboard, which is the exact thing you have written on your screen. It is so flawlessly easy that it's not even, it's not even something you have to think about. And then when you're on here, there it is right there. It saves it automatically. You don't have to click save. It's automatically saved and you can go back and click on it like that. And from here, you can share it via PDF or send it to wherever you want via all the apps on your device like this. You can send it to the Goody Reader group. I can send it on Facebook. I can do anything I want. I can write something out to myself, email it to myself, and away you go. You don't need Wi-Fi or anything on here because it's a QR code. If I write something else and I say, 
and I am here right now. Yes, my typing is bad. If I go here and go to another QR code, I simply just click the camera again, point it at the screen, and there you go. It instantly wrote the additional things that I wrote on the Pomera. It says I am here right now, which is the exact same thing I wrote on the screen. It's a very good app. It's a very simple app and the, everything will be in here. Everything will be filed in here and it'll just be very simple for you to go in and out of this. We think the Pomera is simply amazing. The innovative constructions over the past 14 years, the build quality, and the amazing tactile feel of the keyboard makes us one of the best full-size digital typewriters you can buy on the market today. Simple and no distractions. If you want to pick one of these up, we sell it on the store and we ship anywhere in the world. For Goody Reader Tech, thanks for watching.